Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Modern Dental Assistant and UBM Medica's Dental Division. And I'm on a Google Hangout today with Alyssa Smith. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I am doing great. This is a good day. <laughs> well, it's always a good day, especially whenever we get to talk about dental assisting. So I'm excited <laughs> to have you on board. And I'd love for you just to talk a little bit about yourself to our viewers. Um, okay. So I'll try to keep it short and sweet. So I uh, currently am dental assisting. I'm in a pretty large practice, multi-doctor practice. Um, I definitely didn't start out that way. I was um, 19. Actually, I was 20, and I was in a position in my life where I was trying to figure out where um, I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to do something in the medical dental industry. Um, so I started, I was, you know, I'm taking college classes and I'm, and I'm working your, your typical college student. And, um, I, I found after I took a CNA course, a certified nursing course, I found a, um, dental assistant course. So I figured I could, um, you know, weigh out, you know, my options and check them both out. And I'm a kind of a hands-on person. So took both courses and I was able to, it was kind of funny, I guess everything happens for a reason because, um, you know, I'm four weeks into a class. I don't know what a crown is. I don't know anything about dental whatsoever. I actually had not seen a dentist myself in 10 years, sad but true. And, you know, you see that in a lot of young uh, generation anyway. So um, I walked into a dental practice and I, I meet this doctor and I'm shaking and I shake his hand and I meet all these nice people and they're showing me around the office and I have a very prominent memory of him asking me for a, I was standing behind the patient and he just asked me to hand him the Vita shade guide and I was so lost and confused. I didn't know what anything was. So um, long story short, somehow they, uh, they saw something in me that, that resonated well. So I um, ended up, you know, I worked in a single doctor practice and he shortly after um, asked, you know, as they were, he was kind of feeling out the practice on adding a new software. And that was so beyond all of us at the time. And um, what he was meaning was Seric, which is a CAD CAM software. And um, a lot of people may or may not be familiar with the software. It's really amazing. Um, so we took the class all of us as, as a office, um, still at this point, I'm still taking my dental assistant class. So on Saturdays and I'm working Monday through Friday. So I, uh, we went to California and we took a short little introduction class. And, um, I don't know at this point if I can credit my knowledge to, I was such a sponge at the beginning, you know, I'm really trying to take everything in. And they always say that's why children are so bright and brilliant because they're they're not afraid of anything they delve in and I think that that was maybe the key to my success and um, so I jumped in and I just kind of became the hands-on CAD girl and I am um, at this point I can definitely credit CAD CAM and CEREC and E4D all these awesome softwares they taught me dentistry from the inside out so uh, long story short I, I ended up at a second practice and and um, in that process I've met some really great shine reps and people that have recommended me to actually train others and so in that time I've done a little bit of educating from the other side so at one point I was a student in a class in Dallas and then I ended up being an educator and so it's really amazing how things have kind of turned and twofold so here I am yeah and you know you and I have talked a couple of times over the phone and, and that passion that you have for CAD CAM and what the assistant can do with CAD CAM always just comes through every time that we talk and I'd love for you just to talk to your fellow assistants out there about you know why CAD CAM is so great you know, and obviously what you can do in the state of Nevada is different than what other assistants can do around the country, but still, sure. you know, just, just talk a little bit about why dental assistants need to become involved with CAD CAM and what you, the joys that you found with it. So, um, I'll try not to talk the ear off. I could probably talk all day about this. I get really excited because, um, any one person that wants to take any step, whether it's a baby step or a big step um, forward in your career in dental assisting or, you know, in the dental industry for that matter, um, there's there's a place for you in the world of dentistry and CAD CAM and, and the way that it's taking over. Um, assistants are kind of the key component 
when it comes to CAD CAM, um, there's, there's a lot of room for growth. Um, what I mean by that is the doctor can simply do a prep. And like you said, it's different state by state. But in the state of Nevada, we are able to essentially we can take a scan which is like taking the impression um, it's just taking images after the doctor is prepped so you can imagine how many more patients or you know the production level that happens with the doctor um, he can get up after he preps the crown and he can see a second patient and the cat assistant or the assistant can at that point jump in take a scan do a digital design, which again is the same thing as pouring up a model and doing a wax up, and um, mills out the crown, tries the crown in, and I always say um, in, in every particular office, it's best to kind of tailor this system to what works for the office. So what you know where I'm at, I can I basically I take the scan, I design and mill the crown, I finish the crown like a lab technician, and then the doctor comes back in for 15, 20 minutes to seat the crown. So um, you know, you're looking at 90 minutes or 120 minutes total with this patient, and the patients get to kick back and read and watch a movie. So the patient experience is great, you build a relationship with the patient. And um, the assistant has this opportunity to learn so much. Um, in in like I said, uh, CAD taught me dentistry from the inside out. So I learned I learned a lot more about bonding and preparations and materials, and it started to make a lot more make sense to me as far as the aesthetics of dentistry. And uh, there's so much that goes into it. It's kind of a domino chain reaction so um, that being said there's so much there's so much room and opportunity for assistance um, when it comes to CAD CAM and it absolutely teaches the life lesson of you kind of have to go in there and fake it till you make it and you have to you you just have to bring your knowledge with you and don't let the things that you don't know intimidate you um, we've had some opportunities with training and I see a lot of assistants kind of shy away from the opportunity and it is absolutely understandable it's scary and it's computers not everybody's comfortable with computers but um, as long as you're comfortable with a mouse you know you you can get through it and you see a new team dynamic with your doctor because you're working together to make this restoration. So um, it's really amazing. In, in, in a particular situation where the doctor wasn't comfortable with the assistant taking the final impression or the scan, no big deal. Um, takes the doctor 10 minutes to take a quick scan. And at that point, the assistant can still continue with the design process and, and fabricate this little crown so, or restoration at that point. It's, it's very cool, and, and you touched on something I kind of want to ask you about a minute ago. It's about whenever you've been teaching other dental assistants about this, and you, do you find that they're, they're eager to grasp the technology, or they're a little bit nervous about it, or how do you kind of break through if they are nervous? Um, I think so. There's two things. There's two sides to this. There's, there's somebody that's very, very eager and very excited, and they, they jump right in out the gate, and then they try it, and then it's a little bit – it's definitely a humbling experience to anybody that's learning anything new, of course. Um, so then it becomes, oh, that, that definitely wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Um, so then we kind of slow down at that point and, and break things down. Or you have somebody that maybe is a little bit more apprehensive. And at that point, I think all it takes is just setting the camera in your hand, getting you comfortable with the motion, scanning on a model. You know, the practice is so important. Like I always say, repetition is key. So I'll tell assistants, I'm sorry, I'm going to say something 10 times, but you're going to probably have a dream about what I said because it's just, it, it sticks, it resonates. So, um, you know, there's, there's kind of two sides to approach it in, in either way we can still get to the end, the end goal. Absolutely. And so this is going to be a, maybe a little bit of a strange question, but there's a lot of dentists out there that still don't exactly see the value of CAD cam and they're very hesitant to jump into the technology themselves. Mm -hmm. From an assistant's point of view and you working with this technology, what advice would you give to them about why it's a good thing to have in their practice? So um, I, get, I get pretty careful about what I'm advising. I, I think, like I mentioned earlier, I think that any one person, in most cases, it's good to step out of our comfort zone. But if it's something that you're not quite comfortable with and, and you're not quite ready, typically there's a missing link. And um, what I always say is, and this has always worked for me, and anything that I'm, I'm 
careful or apprehensive about, I want to learn a lot about it. So um, testimonials and, and studies, and I always say that education is so important. Um, to see it firsthand and to see how it functions firsthand, I think, you know, there, there's a lot of barriers. There's, um, there's many, many, many things that go into the decision making of whether they want to implement CAD in their office or not. Um, but to see the value and the proficiency of the software and to see your practice grow is absolutely incredible. So when you, when you think of what, you know, the possibilities that happen and come from implementing something so big into the practice, it's absolutely worth it. Um, of course, there's always going to be some speculation on this side or the other, but I think that's where um, there's a lot of amazing, amazing things to research and read and find and and even do and practice. And I, I always... My, my mantra is take it slow. You know, something something like this is, I wouldn't recommend, um, you know, some cases are a little bit more difficult than others, more aesthetic than others. I think that the basics um, are very, very important when it comes to implementing CAD CAM. So um, that being said, I think that it can it can absolutely work for anybody and everybody and, and make a doctor very productive. But um, it's, ultimately what they're they're comfortable with and if they're willing to kind of slow down and really you know change who they are as a clinician a little bit just to you know get comfortable with it because after you're walking you're running and then you're then you're flying and then you get comfortable and there's pretty amazing cases out there so i, I love it. i support it fully obviously <laughs> well obviously yeah i mean and again the the thing that that i've grown to just admire so much about you is in the short time we know each other is again that passion that you have and, and how you've really taken the proverbial bull by the horns to to learn this and and i think it's so fascinating where could assistants if they have any questions where is there a way that they could reach you to kind of pick your brain or ask you any questions um absolutely um they can reach out to me i'm always open i'm an open i have an open door policy so anybody can reach me personally but um there's some there's materials and classes and courses that you can actually get certified essentially in different elements as far as scanning, designing. Um, E4D and Plan Mecca in Dallas, they've got some really great individuals up there that have designed a course that doctors, it's, it's specific for any clinician. I think it's a really great course for assistants. Um, it's a lot to take in, but um, I think it's a good foundational spot. I know that there's um, a lot of other great things. Dr. Alex Touchstone has a really great um, blog and website, LearnDigitalDentistry.com. Um, that one's pretty great, but there's a lot of information out there. But again, they can reach me. I can always be kind of a portal, absolutely, to anybody that's interested. I'm fine with, I love conversation. I love meeting new people. So it doesn't even have to be CAD related. It can be regarding assisting. It can be any kind of anything, anything. I love it. I love the outreach. I think that that's where um, opportunity comes from shaking hands in this world. And truly, it's that's what it goes down to. Absolutely. And Alyssa's going to be working a lot more uh, with us uh, on some dental assisting projects to help educate dental assistants. And we're super excited to have you on board and uh, looking forward to great things in the future. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much. This was great. Thanks. <laughs>